Okay, guys. So sorry for the diagram was taken out wrongly. So I'm taking one from O'Reilly. Okay, so it's the same use case, and you already, I mean, share database. You know it already. I mean, that's that's a common thing. We are just uh, moving the microservice to the microservice server, like a uh, Spring Boot Tomcat server, and we are just invoking the same database, whether it is JDBC or Hibernate or whatever mechanism we are using. We're using the same database. So in this diagram, you can see dispatch, finance, order processing, talking to the same physical database. Okay. Now, question is, we have database per service. So there we all would have agreed, you know, I mean, people who are experienced, people who are getting into the world of microservice. We all visualized, we really would have found out that performance will improve to a very great extent. So we all will be agreeable. But then why database, uh, share database? Why? Uh, uh, we, I had briefly mentioned right about 20 minutes ago, like 15, 20 minutes ago, that it is not necessary that always database is the only contention. Okay. Even though here the use case shown is dispatch, finance, and order processing. Um, um, let's say the uh, uh, if you have some other application which is uh, which is uh, kind of using a lot of data, really lots and lots of uh, data which is um, uh, in memory. Okay, and it is. Uh, it it uh, kind of uh, uses various combinations, permutations, or it uh, creates data by itself. I mean, in terms of trying to analyze what is not right and what is wrong, okay? Uh, such kind of decision making engines or um, analysis engines, and it does not it does not have to talk to database often or never has to talk to database. Under such circumstance, um, uh, the everything comes to the it comes the the bottleneck comes to the physical server the uh, our application server, okay. So under such circumstance, is when you have to think of such shared uh, database architecture, okay. I need if I move. You remember the for earlier day one, day two, right? The problem of symmetric scalability, okay. Actually, uh, pro actually companies, uh, uh, an organization, a product always needs an asymmetric scalability. So asymmetric scalability is mostly at database level, but it also is at service level as well. So I'm saying I'll move. My three microservices to my uh, order processing, uh, payment service, and um, what do you say? Um, microservices order, order process, uh, sorry, three microservices to order processing, inventory management, and payment gateway. Okay. But I'll talk to the same database. And then I see still there's a good performance increase, especially when there's very heavy load on the uh, order processing. Okay. My internal teams use inventory management. Okay. External might use it for reading, but my internal teams use, use it. For actually loading it to the database, it also comes from an external source as well. Okay, so under all these circumstances, I see that's a good mark performance increase because the load, the load which was there on the servers, is uh, uh, is uh, decent enough, good enough to show me that performance increase when I move to shared database architecture. Okay, so that that is the idea. All schemas, all tables, the physical uh, database existence, everything moves to one server okay now that that is the idea of having a um here here is here also you can uh, in the same physical server if you decide to have two different ports okay if you decide to have um, um yeah two different ports that that might be something which which might be okay to consider still it will be considered shared database okay um oh, I'm, I'm sorry that is that is what i told you so here i'm making a mistake so as per theory, as per sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, you have told me this. As per theory, the database per uh, database per service. If you even if you open two ports on the same server, even if you open uh, if you have different schemas and if you have different uh, uh, what is it tables, then it's considered as a uh, database per service architecture. Okay, that's the uh, but I'm telling you in real usage, real or practical usage, you'll find that one physical server is what we mean when we uh, say dedicated database per service. Otherwise, it's a shared database architecture, okay? So here in shared database, everything will be on one database, one schema, and then when it joins, okay, everything will work in the same way. But we are offloading that, we are offloading everything that was on monolithic now to individual microservices, okay? I think this is easy to understand, right, at these points. What do you say? Okay. Okay. 
so we'll move to something little more yeah. uh, you can say uh, i don't know complicated not complicated but uh, it's more uh, it requires more implementation okay it requires more thought it is something which is popular which is used by most uh, microsoft architecture okay mm -hmm. 